Yo, what's going on everybody? The big guy Ryback here. Got another spicy challenge today. And uh, this one's gonna be a real doozy, I have a feeling. I'm sitting down here in my house. I got a little guy over here and Sophie over here on the couch. We got a little uh, AEW Dynamite on TV. Jungle Boy is actually out there right now with Marco Stunt. And uh, we'll see what happens. With that, that'll be kind of got the sound off because we don't want our video to get taken down. YouTube, you can hear the sounds with music and all that. So none of that, but it is on, it is playing. We can't show it to you, but you got to take my word for it. Why would I make that up, right? All right, what's the challenge today? We're going to do the uh, little Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. And we're not just going to do one. We're going to do uno, dos. Race three, three little nitro gummy bears. And uh, I would assume we're going to do a five minute period of no water. It seems to kind of be the standard big dumb Ryback. I really don't know. Got my water here. Available on FeedMeMore.com. We actually got new water jugs coming. We're doing, uh, we're switching. We got clear ones coming with the new updated Feed Me More Nutrition logo with uh, metal tops that come off of the little bigger opening to drink out of. And, uh, but we still have yellow ones available on feedmemore.com. We have sold out on Amazon of those. Those actually, we sold a lot of those over the last two years. The, the half gallon jugs are popular. I actually enjoy using these because I drink two of them a day or around two of them with my shaker of, of water that I use. And I know that I'm at least getting a gallon of, of pure, clean, filtered water throughout the day, along with whatever I drink, you know, a couple Zevias, one or two Zevias and whatnot. So, but yeah, this is a uh, consumer beware. This is not your ordinary gummy bear from flamethrower candy company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Little nitro has been infused with our signature 9 million Scoville unit chili extract, making him 900 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Do you dare uh, do you dare this fiery gummy bear? Oh, I swear I dare. I'm going to go for that gummy bear. A little care bear. These are anything but a care bear. They don't give a shit about your feelings. And that's why I kind of like this stuff. This really hot stuff and it tests my brain. You can't fight the heat. I mean, the heat hits. You guys see it. I get red. Tears will come down at times. But it's, uh, it's a challenge that I, I like. And it, it's, I'm not going to lie, though, thus far. And it's actually been... I gave myself a little time from those, uh, that Johnny Scoville, uh, tuba tear. And that was hot that and doing it in the hot tub of the sun outside did not make it any easier, but I wanted to, I wanted to make it harder. And that's why I did it. And, uh, but man, and talking to a few, uh, other people, the UK chili queen out there, shout out to her as well. Really pretty lady. And, uh, who can handle really hot foods. The, uh, she was saying to eat a peanut butter, uh, sandwich. And I had a banana as well with my ginger about an hour ago because I didn't eat anything with that other thing. That tuba tear, there were, there were a good amount of peanuts. Like I said, the heat it was hot and the hot tub didn't help. It was a challenge. I liked it. The heat subsided after, you know, 10, 12 minutes hit my stomach though. Like none other. And by that, just what like didn't feel good, and you know, three or four hours of just kind of chilling at the house, and no energy. It zapped my body, guys. That whole wake up unlimited energy thing isn't a joke. Like it's just a real deal, you know. Like I said, up five, sometimes five thirty, depending on when I can get to bed, and uh, it's running, running hard, constantly doing stuff. That's what it takes. But it's, uh, I had no energy after that. I, I was tired. I'm opening the gummy bears. Somebody right now is has the, the, the they're, they're they're waiting to post in the comments. They're watching like a hawk, just like 434 is when it starts. You're welcome. Okay, thanks. Just weirdo. You wanted just to watch me eat the hot stuff and not talk? That's kind of weird. Why not get a little you know information out of it? Unless you just think I'm completely worthless, which again brings me to the point. Why would you watch and listen to what I have to say? Stupid. But that's the world we live in, Idiocracy. Great movie on the future. That and Terminator, the two 
realest movies in the world. <sighs> Gonna get these gummy bears out. Oh boy, get them on top here. This is gonna be, I can tell these are gonna be, a, these are gonna be a bitch. And I don't, ooh, that heat's just, I just smelled it and felt it in my throat. That's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I like, I like a little bit of pain. My, my stem cell doctor tells me, he goes, I've never met anybody that handles pain like you. And I said, well, I've wrestled for WWE and emotionally the things I've been put through, physical pain is really not that bad anymore. <laughs> we joke about that all the time. Uh, imagine having the world in your hands and all you need to do is just win a couple big pay-per-views and the fucking <laughs> nope. And it's okay because it's this is my reality. And I'm very happy now. Right, doggies? Shut the fuck up, don't do the gummy bears. Okay, guys. 610. I'm gonna put all three of these in my mouth. Chew them. Somebody's down there. We couldn't see them. You switched them out with your other hand. Well, we're gonna see when my face is red as shit, pal. 630. Wow. Hot. Usually sets in in stages. Come on, Marco Stunt. Ooh. I got to say, though, those were, oh, here comes the, the hiccups. And I know I sometimes say burps on here, guys. And I'm sorry, I mean hiccups. But, but the, see, that was a hiccup burp. It happens. It's, I Sometimes it's just not loud. So I say burp, but it's a hiccup burp. A herp. I got the herps. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, hopefully not. Bad situation there. Oh, got my feeding time shirt. Oh, ooh, ooh, another herps. <sighs> Definitely some kick to those. Oh, the hiccups are strong on this one. Uh, the herps. <sighs> Coming approach at 8.30. Oh, I got to tell you guys, though, that tube of tear, Johnny Scoville, oh, you son of a bitch, you got me. Nah, I'm so busy right now. Today's been a hell of a day for me, guys. My townhouse that I rent out, tenant called me today freaking out saying the water heater exploded. So I go, fuck, go shut the water off. The fucking... Either at the fucking water heater or go in the fucking garage and shut the valve off. And uh, she caught it, though. Then I called her, though. It was leaking. And it wasn't, It was, but it was going down. They, and it's a two-story uh, townhouse. They have the uh, water heater upstairs. When There's plenty of room in the garage. And there's a whole downstairs. Why you put it upstairs? And that, It's not like it's not an apartment. It has a garage. And a decent sized garage at that. So, anyways, I had to head over there. I was getting ready to go. I just did all my rehab here at the house. I had to go work, uh, wanted to go work out. So I had to go over there, call the home warranty, and there was a whole deal with that. I had to get that all situated and uh, get a, a plumber out there and whatnot. But the water was leaking down into the laundry room and it had just started. And that place is only, it's not that old. It was built in 2007 and we're out here in the heat. Vegas is very dry and the water like I said it wasn't bad and we got everything and it stopped but they got to come back out tomorrow and uh, do the report for the insurance for the home warranty and then 
uh, hopefully install by Friday. But sometimes life just throws shit at you. This is like one of those things. I went to the gym. I still got it in, guys. I went to the gym and did uh, 34 sets of shoulders in about 32, 33 minutes. Very little rest. Just went hard in the paint. And, uh, and then went back, had to meet the plumber over there with the tenant. Came home, did P90X Ab Ripper X with a few other exercises here in uh, my living room. And then I had to get back to work with other things. And then I was on the phone, actually, with multiple plumbers with the home warranty, which took hours throughout the day, actually, off and on of calling multiple ones and having to deal with a few things with the home warranty, whatnot. But it's just one of those days. I, I'm a big believer in, like, sometimes, like, today was kind of a shit day as far as it didn't go as exactly as I had planned. But I got a lot done. But sometimes you get these stressful situations that happen. And for me... And like I, I tonight, I wasn't even like I, we got content. We didn't. I didn't want to even do another video. And then I go, you know what? I'm going to do another video. I'm going to get one in on a day that wasn't great. I'm going to bullshit a little bit, test myself, because um, these moments make you stronger. And I've, like I've had a lot of negative things happen to me, and it, it's made me a, a lot stronger over the years. And it like I always, it it, it thickens your armor. So I, I'm not against bad things happening. As long as I don't die, even though like I'm at the point where I'm just like, you can't fuck death. You can't even, it's going to happen. You can't fight it. We're all going to fucking die. Live your best life. Have fun. When the moment comes, the moment comes. Fucking, it'll probably be a blissful, amazing fucking feeling once the fucking, however you go is over. And granted, I would love to go <clears throat> at 140 in bed asleep. After my 500th stem cell procedure, but uh, just living, taking up space and oxygen. You kids out there. Uh, but, uh, oh, I'm at the 1130 mark. I can have water, so I'll take a sip. That wasn't horrible. It was, uh, the hardest part was the first uh, minute, and then after that, it, it chilled out quite a bit. Just wanted the taste. The gummy bears tasted like shit, guys. Those were the worst gummy bears I've ever had. No taste whatsoever. Just pure heat. So if you're going to do the little nitro challenge. I was actually supposed to do this uh, with Phoenix. And then she had an unfortunate situation. The loss of a family member. Uh, it's just, which is crazy. I did, my, my, my aunt passed away this past week. My dad's sister. Very unfortunate. My aunt Janie. But... I'm a big believer I like, with my dogs. I haven't experienced a lot of death in my life. But my, out through my dogs, I have. And that's why I'm very glad I've had, you know, multiple dogs. And, uh, and obviously my grandparents. And, uh, but I've kind of, uh, from all my readings and everything and my understanding of life, I always kind of look at death as, it's like, a, I think it's a good thing, but we kind of, we have it where we mourn and we were sad because, and we miss that person's presence and energy. And that's a sad, empty, lonely feeling. And I, but I try to look at it and not be for me, for me, this is just solely for me, not for everyone. I try to look at it as don't be selfish. They moved on to a much better place and uh, it's going to happen to all of us. But obviously we miss and my dogs and I have my moment with them and then I kind of shift my mindset. And see, that's one thing with dogs for me. And I always tell people, this is what helps me is, you know, when a, a pet um, passes on, for me, you never replace that love. But the best thing to do for me is because love never dies, is to create a brand new love for a new pet. And it will never fill the void of that love before. But that creation of a new love is then the focal point of your life. And it, it, for me, it helps tremendously on that because I love dogs and whatnot. So that's just my take on death and what, and it's, don't get me, it's, it's truly unfortunate and sad. And, but I try to always try to keep a positive mindset on everything and look at it from different angles and whatnot. And energy never dies. We just moves on to another, another place. So, but we miss the presence and that energy that is around us on a regular basis. So. But uh, I'm all over the place on that. The thing, though, that I was telling you guys, though, about the bad days, what I try to kind of loop this whole thing together 
is once I go to bed and uh, get up early, start over. And it's funny how just getting a good night's rest or just getting some sleep, it's like I wake up and I've had busy, crazy, stressful days. And then you get to bed and you wake up and all that, whatever anxiety there was or probably just kind of goes away and you start over. And it's like that, you know, you don't, the good, it's always good to have the good days and they carry over, and, but it doesn't always look work like that. And the key is, and for me, is not letting one bad day become two bad days or three bad days, four bad days. And, and again, and I say bad days in the context of just what is going on, I get to have a bad day. I get to go figure out a way to get this new, you know, water heater in and find time to go get that done with everything going on. And it's a good problem to have. I get to. That's not I have to, I get to. And I'm very, very big on that. So come here, little guy, Sophie. Come say hi to everyone. Come here, babies. Come say hi. Come here. Come say when we to see my little babies, guys. Come here. You got to say hi to the people out there. Come here. Head up. Aww. Hi, guys. This is Sophie. Come here, little guy. Daddy loves you, huh? Six back surgeries since last February. She's my little angel. She's had all the back problems with me. Huh? Aww. You my little, who's my little angel? Who my little angel? Give, give daddy kisses. Give daddy kisses. Pa. <laughs> She's the most loving, playful dog I've ever had. Not a mean bone in her body. I know, I love you, baby. So I, uh, I quit taking appearances and bookings and everything. When this all happened, I had to cancel a lot that first year. Then I just quit taking stuff because I couldn't leave her. I couldn't board her with her back. Her back broke in her sleep three times. She has severe disc disease. They're not doing stem cells in dog's disc. They do it maybe for like their joints, but not their disc. And she has one disc left that is sup supposedly prone to going. But uh, come here, little guy. He's being a little stubborn tonight. But uh, I look at it like this, that she sat through. Uh, she was there for me with all my back problems. And then she started experiencing, they always say dogs and their owners. She started experiencing all her back problems. And I felt like it was kind of a sign that I needed to slow down and uh, focus on getting my health back, quit going out and taking matches against my doctor's orders. And sometimes things will happen outside of our control to, uh, and it's a good thing. But they said at the, the specialty center, a lot of people put the dogs down after one or two of the back surgeries. And um, I'm very loyal though. And uh, I love my little baby more than anything. So I decided to ride it out. I have everything I could do from home, let the ego go. It's not about me. I got everything. Got a nice house, dogs. I'm happy. Love and happiness. And uh, it was very important for me, I think, to focus on that. And, like, wrestling is great, and I love wrestling. It doesn't fucking matter at the end of the day, guys. It's stupid. It's like, like, like all that matters is love and happiness. So it doesn't matter what gets that. And living in on the road and being in hotel rooms and being lonely and empty, it's not a good life. And it's, it's great you guys can see things on TV. I was like... I want to go do that every once in a while, and I want this, because this is what life is all about. So, but there's there's more that goes into it than just that, but it's love and happiness at the end of the day, because all the other shit, the possessions, all that doesn't fucking mean shit. It's all ego-driven. That's all it is, and it's fine. It's cool and whatnot. We all have it to a certain degree, certain, degree, certain different things, but I don't know. That's my message today. I always like to talk. You guys, I feel like if we're going to spend time online and bullshit for entertainment, get a little value out of it. So, I'm going to take my GTS sleep aid. Conveniently here to plug it, guys. I'm not even, no shame. Feedmemore.com, you can save 10% with discount code YouTube10. One, two, three, four, five. This is the most powerful natural sleep aid on the market. We got a money back policy on feedmemore.com. If you can't sleep, check it out, guys. I take it, I'm within bed an hour every time after taking it. I don't know if you can see the ingredients on there. You can't see the ingredients. Shut the video off. Go to bed. Go watch another video. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. This was the little Nitro Gummy Bear Challenge. I think I smashed it. And, uh, we got Carolina Reaper Peppers dehydrated ones. I think a bag of six. I think those are going to be coming up soon as well. 
So stay tuned for that as we continue to test the mind of the big guy. I need to do some fresh peppers too. Haven't done the peppers yet, so that's next. And I know somebody was saying the Mad Dog Plutonium. That one, uh, we'll, we'll look into getting that done too. <clears throat> but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback on all podcast platforms. Share this channel. Uh, my boy John Moxley, Dean Ambrose, wearing those biker shorts, that wrestler look. I like Moxley. He's a good guy. He's always he's always good when he gets drunk. He'll be really quiet. He keeps to himself, but you get him drunk. Moxley will talk. <laughs> As we all will. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. This is another episode of Ryback TV. Spicy challenge. Be good human beings. Hold the door open for somebody. Return your shopping carts. Rerack your weights. And never forget those three words. Feed me more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like. Smash that subscribe button. And check out my all natural su My all natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching.